Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I am a professional blockchain developer and in this guide I'm going to show you how to check if a user has joined a specific Telegram channel in your Telegram mini app using Next.js 14. Before we begin, I want you to check out my ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game. It's a full stack Next.js 14 app featuring a beautiful frontend and a robust backend. The app runs smoothly with seamless synchronization between the frontend and backend. You can purchase the full app code on my website nickander.com. You can also check out the live version of the app in the official Telegram channel where I regularly share news and updates about the ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game code. Additionally, if you purchase the code, you'll receive a referral link that allows you to earn profit by promoting the code to your friends. All the links are in the description. Let's continue with the topic of this video. Open VS Code, create a new Next.js app, select all the default options and wait a few moments for the project to set up. Create a new .env file to store your environment variables. Don't forget to add the .env to the git ignore file to keep sensitive information secure. We won't need the .env file for this project since we won't be able to test the app before deploying to Vercel. But I want you to know this for more complex apps. Inside the app folder, create a new API folder. Inside the API folder, create a check membership folder. Within the check membership folder, create a file named route.ts. Define an asynchronous POST function that will handle incoming POST requests. It takes the REC object, which represents the incoming request from the client. This is where we will process the data sent to the server and return a response back to the client. Get the bot token from the environment variables to authenticate our bot with the Telegram API. Check if the bot token exists. If it's missing, return a JSON response with an error message and a status code of 500 to indicate a server issue. Extract Telegram ID and channel username from the request body by parsing the incoming JSON data using await rec.json. Check if Telegram ID or channel username is missing. If either is missing, return a JSON response with an error message and a status code of 400, indicating a bad request. Define a try-catch block to handle any potential errors that might occur. Define formatted chat ID and check if the channel username starts with an add sign or dash 100. If it doesn't, prepend an add sign to the username to format it correctly for the Telegram API. Construct the Telegram API URL using the bot token, formatted chat ID and Telegram ID. Then make a request to this URL using fetch to get the chat member's information. Check if the response from the Telegram API is not OK. If it's not, retrieve the error message, lock the error details and return a JSON response with the error and status code of 500 to indicate a server error. Parse the response from the Telegram API as JSON and store the result in the data variable. Check if the data.ok property is true, meaning the API call was successful. If so, get the user's status and check if they are a creator, administrator or member. Return the result as is member in the JSON response. If data.ok is false, return an error message with a status code 
of 500. In the catch block, lock the error and check if it's an instance of error. If it is, return the specific error message. If not, return a general error message, both with a status code of 500. Go to page.tsx file and clear all the existing code. Add use client at the top of the file to indicate that this component runs on the client side. This is necessary because we'll be using features like use state, use effect and interacting with the Telegram web app, which are only available on the client. Declare a global window interface to define a custom Telegram object, which may contain a web app property. This ensures TypeScript recognizes the Telegram object when interacting with the Telegram web app inside our application. Define multiple state variables using useState. Each channel member will track whether the user is a member of the channel. Each loading will track whether the membership check is in progress. Telegram ID stores the user's Telegram ID. Channel username holds the channel's username. Error will store any error message during the membership check. Use the use effect hook to run the following code when the component first loads. We check if the Telegram web app object is available in the window object. If it exists, retrieve the initialization data from init data, parse the user data from the URL parameters to extract the user ID. If a valid user ID is found, store it in the Telegram ID state, log an error if there is an issue parsing the user data. Define an asynchronous function called check channel membership. This function will handle the process of checking whether the user is a member of the specified Telegram channel. Check if Telegram ID is missing. If it is, show an alert indicating that the app can only be used within Telegram and stop the function. Then check if channel username is missing. If so, show an alert asking the user to enter a channel username and stop the function. Set is loading to true to indicate that a process is starting. Then use a try-catch block to handle the logic and any potential errors that occur. In the finally block, set is loading to false to signal that the process is complete, whether it succeeded or failed. Send a POST request to the API check membership endpoint. Set the content type header to application JSON and include the Telegram ID and channel username in the request body, converting them to JSON format using JSON Stringify. Check if the response is not OK. If the request failed, parse the response as JSON to get the error details, then throw an error with that message or default message of failed to check membership. Parse the response as JSON and store the result in data. Then update is channel member with the value of data is member and reset error to null to indicate no errors occurred. In the catch block, lock the error to the console with the message error checking channel membership. Set is channel member to false indicating that the user is not a member, then update error with either the specific error message or a default message of an unknown error occurred. Check if Telegram ID is missing. If it is, return a simple UI that displays a message saying this app can only be used within Telegram as a mini-app 
and prevents the rest of the component from rendering. Return the main UI of the component. Display the title, Telegram channel membership check in a large heading, render an input field where the user can enter the channel username, add a button that triggers the check channel membership function when clicked, showing checking if the check is in progress. Show any error message if they exist. If the membership check has been completed, display a message indicating whether the user is a member of the channel. Go to layout.tsx, clear the existing font styles and add the inter font style instead. Change the metadata, add a script tag inside the head section to load the Telegram web app JavaScript SDK. We set the strategy to before interactive to ensure the script is loaded early before any user interactions with the page. Go to the next config file and set ESLint ignore during builds to true, so ESLint errors will not prevent the project from building. Our app is ready, we can build it to check if we have any errors. npm run build. Great, we have no errors. Now we can upload the project to GitHub and deploy it to Vercel. Don't forget to provide the bot token as an environment variable during the Vercel deployment. Once the app is deployed to Vercel, we can use the app's URL to configure our Telegram mini app through bot father on Telegram. This is the mini app link and this is the bot username. I'll be testing the app using the Clicker Game News channel. As you can see, our bot doesn't have admin rights in the channel, which means when I try to check if I'm a member, it returns an error because it can't access the members list. Let's give the bot admin rights in the channel. For security reasons, we can disable all admin functions for the bot. Now that the bot is promoted to admin, it can access the list of users and confirm that I'm a member of the channel. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.